What is going on everybody? I hope everyone is doing well. All right, today's episode, we are gonna be putting together the actual section of the track. Also, we're gonna be getting the rails electrified. I am so excited. All right, I'm not gonna talk too much with this intro. Let's just get right into the work so that way we can hopefully get some trains. No, no, not hopefully. We are going to be running some trains by the end of this video. Let's get to work. All right, so as you can see, we are underneath the layout. Uh, I went ahead, rewired the block areas, and I tried putting these uh, labels on. It seemed to be coming off. but So I started labeling each wire because I didn't do it before um, for the block detection. At the same time, I'm just trying to keep everything nice and neat and keeping all the wires all grouped together. Uh, just trying to do my best for cable management. All right, here's another shot of underneath the layout uh, where the coal mine section is. Uh, again, just me dropping down the feeder wires so that way I can uh, attach them to the bus line. It is good to be able to be running some trains once again. Oh my goodness, let me tell you how much I have missed this. So we have put together our temporary bridge for now. Um, this, These tracks are not glued into place. Uh, they're just there so that way it gives me time to design the bridge that I need to, to 3D print it, but as well as to be able to get back into running trains and getting some of this content out to you guys. Um, super, super happy. <clears throat> spent a lot of time kind of rewiring reorganizing my switches uh, also I still need to do the the block detections that is still under its way uh, I have to reorganize all that uh, what we do have is a dead spot right here on the switch <laughs> just like that uh, but I know what that is it's one of the wires <clears throat> over here behind this total switch machine uh, it's the actual connection for the layout itself. Uh, that's something I will be addressing to fix so that way we get a smooth continuous run. Uh, that's really the only spot for the inner line. The inner, the middle and the outer or the high speed line are all powered. Uh, everything works, I'm really super happy about it. All right, so that is gonna be it for this video. Um, yeah, so we are able to get the trains, do a full loop as the train itself is running around. Uh, super happy about that. Uh, next to do is to fix some of the dead spots, 
reprogram the block detection areas. I have a couple of uh, how-to videos for the ECOS in regards to getting rid of some of uh, previous and old files as the train stops. <laughs> I want to get back into doing regular videos like I used to. Uh, be like Tech Talk Tuesdays for the ECOS and uh, whatnot. So getting super, super excited with this. Um, and also, I want to start building, doing some diorama, some landscaping on this section right here. Super happy with it. For everyone that has stuck around for this past couple of years, especially when the channel and the hobby has been kind of like paused, I want to thank you so much from the bottom of my heart that uh, you guys stuck around. I really do appreciate it. And for all you new subscribers, I want to thank you so much for subscribing. I really do appreciate it. We want to try to get a thousand subscribers by, by March. Uh, that is our goal within like the next four months or so. This is the kind of stuff that you enjoy. Think about subscribing. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way you are notified every time we release a new video. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, keep on modeling.